Hi guys, this is Eunice and uh, I have my Mountain Rose Herb Haul today and I got all these packages spreaded out on my table uh, and so forth so that I can um, get everything organized for uh, to start my formulations and things like that. Um, I will be doing um, capsules, I uh, will be doing tonics. I will be doing elixirs, and I will also be doing oils and everything. So these are the basics and so far. And uh, like this plantain here, all my stuff comes from uh, Mountain Rose Herb. And as you can see, it's all certified organic. I do trust, trust, trust these people and so far because I've been doing business with them for a long, long, long time and so far. And these herbs are very good excellent herb most herbalists do use um mountain rose herbs if they are not harvesting themselves now some herbalists uh, also um gather their um basic sources of herbs uh from the wild um but i don't have that luxury <laughs> to do that so i actually have to purchase mine <laughs> but that's okay uh here is chicory root and I'm going to be making a herbal coffee with this. Uh, chicory root used to be used uh, for coffee a long, long, long time ago. Because uh, most of you know that herbs have been out from the dawn of time because they're plants that God gave us to use as food and medicine. So anyway, um, chicory root is one of those herbs that they use in place of coffee. And it is a coffee alternative. It has no caffeine in it. And also, chicory root is also good for the heart. Um, it is uh, good for the liver and gallbladder uh, disorder, upset stomach. It's good for high blood pressure. Uh, it's good for heart um, for fatigue, loss of appetite, and uh, rapid heartbeat. So this here is really, really, really a good product. And I'm going to do a... Um, I'm going to do a video uh, with me actually making this herbal coffee, uh, making this herbal coffee, and actually drinking some of the herbal coffee to let you know how it tastes. Um, I'm going to go outside real quick because I am gathering up some herbs myself to try to harvest. It's raining, but I'm going to stick my head out here and do this anyway. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> So, here I'm outside now in the rain. Uh, these are my new little aloe vera plants that I just uh, put in and everything. And my rosemary also blew over. I got a nice big rosemary um, plant here. And these are my other little plants that I started from seed. This is my little garden that I've actually started. I got cilantro, lavender, uh, basil, sage. And um, I also got some cantaloupes too. So I hope that comes up. I like cantaloupes. But anyway, these are my little garden that I started. And my rosemary, my aloe vera, and all that. And uh, so I'm like really, really happy about the fact that I am starting my own gardening. And um, also, um, you know, trying to do my own thing here and all that. So, well, anyway... Um, yeah, and oh, this is just the first part also of the uh, Mountain Rose Hall uh, because I do have another second order coming in uh, for my stuff. But anyway, I just want to give you a peek at this um, because a lot of people ask you like where you get your herb from or where is it sourced from and so forth. And I always, you know, say, hey, Mountain Rose Herb, they're the best to get your um supplies from and i've been doing it for years um ordering stuff from them and i trust you know these plants are harvest properly sustained properly and all that i've never had any trouble okay well this is eunice herbalist thank you bye